2 KMC here, party hat on, checking out your upcoming neighborhood events. This weekend, if your my player is a Hey everyone, and welcome to the WNBA on 2K Sports. Tonight we'll see the Dallas Wings as they play against the New York Liberty. From the 2K booth with Brian Banifatemi and Tim Swartz, I'm Blake Suniga. Thanks for coming along. Here in Bradenton, Florida, the home of our WNBA coverage, Brian. The regular season is shortened this year, but the playoff format remains the same. Do you like that? Yeah, Blake. The regular season is great in its own right, but the stakes are just so much higher in the postseason. This season is different for a variety of reasons, but I think keeping the traditional WNBA playoff format is the right move. Here's Mabry. To the paint. Endor. Sabrina Ionescu with the rebound. Those chances, usually they're two points for her. The D, I guess, did just a, enough to bother her. Proving what a selfless player she is, Ionescu is all about getting the rock to wide open teammates. Pass to Saboli. 16 feet out. No good off the back of the rim. That's one she knows she should have drained. That's too good a look to pass up there, despite the result. And it's the wings ball. We played just over a minute here in the first. Agunba Wale with it. Shot clock at six. Here's Mabry. And another miss by Dallas. Fires from 18. Durr shot is off. Offensively, just one of four to start. They're still warming up. Outside, Agun Mawale. Mabry, defended by Laney. Good team, good team. Up top, Sobley. Clarendon covering. 0 for 4 to start. Still looking for their first make. When you think basketball in Germany, the first name that comes up naturally is Dirk Nowitzki. But there's another that should pop up immediately, Satu Sabali. Growing up in Berlin, Germany, Sabali was a huge Dirk fan. She finally remembers a meeting Dirk in Germany when she was just 13. So naturally, she was ecstatic to be drafted second overall in 2020 and play in Dallas. And the basket by Mabry. Big basket there. The fifth time's the charm, am I right? Laney outside. Pass to Howard. Back to Laney. The shot that time, not on target. Nice D from Satu Sabali. For Sabali, the comparisons with Dirk don't stop at where they're from and where they were drafted. Satu's game is so similar to the former MVP. She's got center height at 6'4", and she's also a gifted shooter like Dirk. Sabali did get some tips from him on how to perfect the fadeaway shot, and now she hopes to follow in her fellow German's footsteps of bringing a title to Dallas. The wings trail. Outside, Agun Mawale. Pass to Harrison. Sabali. 
And here's Mabry. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. But Nigel Laney picks one up. A national champion in college, Marina Mabry went late in the second round of the Sparks in 2019. And she's been playing with a chip on her shoulder since she got to the WNBA. it up and this next one could give them the lead so it's both teams making substitutions here and the free throw is good now leading by one and first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Outside Whitcomb, pass to Stokes. Back to Jones. Banked in off the glass. They'll take as many of those looks as they can get, trust me. Now Jefferson. Gray. Mabry. Whitcomb defending. Here's Mabry. And she was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for her. All right, get your crystal balls out, guys. Who do you think will be the best player in the WNBA over this decade? Wow, that's a tough one, Blake. But you know what? Sometimes we forget just how young Brianna Stewart is. Uh, she'll be in her 20s for most of this decade. MVP during her age 23 season in 2018 for a team, by the way, in Seattle that won the championship that year. So, uh, yeah, Stewie's my pick. I'll take Sabrina Ionescu. I know her career is just getting started, but, man, she knows how to orchestrate an offense. She has the size to drive down low and, most of all, the will to be a team leader. However, who really knows? When you're talking about the best this decade, it might be someone who isn't even in the league yet. He's perfect from the line this time. And the Liberty with possession here. They trail by one. Pass to Whitcomb. There's the three. And the ball out of play. The Wings will have it. Now here's Jefferson. Gray outside. McGee Stafford. it in but he misses here's Whitcomb that shot off so Dallas will take it the other way Thornton outside pass to Harrison five on the clock here's Jefferson goes back up and Jones pulls it down. New York trailing here. Back to Whitcomb. Shook. Shoots over Jefferson. Shook. No good. Thornton left side. No good. So New York will take it the other way. Jones inside, working on Harrison. Jones misses. That's a shot she's got to hit. You don't get too many better looks from that range. Gray with it. Looking for her first basket still in this one. There's the triple. The put back. She knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials are getting together, and they may want to review this one. 
And it looks like they are going to review the play. The question, did she get the basket off in time? And the footage relayed to the officials from the replay center in Secaucus. Uh, I think she got it off in time. Prep. Next weekend, find a teammate and head to Rush 2v2. Win four games in a row for a chance to earn exclusive Rush apparel. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Hello to all the mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day. Glad to have you with us for this special presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan. We've got Chris Weber and Greg Anthony with us. And from the sideline, we'll be hearing from David Aldridge. It's the USA facing the Memphis Grizzlies. Looking at the starting five for USA. We've got Durant. Clay Thompson is out there with Irving. Then it's Anthony. And it's Cousins in at the five spot. And here is Allen after the three-pointer from Clay Thompson. Here's Valen Junis. There's the dish to Morant. Lock at six. Pass to Anderson. Good and a nice assist from Morant. That lint helping Anderson on these contested shots. Sometimes he's just a little longer. Outside Durant. Unloads. USA working now with the new shot clock. And that one's good cousin. Uh, toughness and energy on the boards. An easy putback to show for. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Well, Kevin, Taylor Jenkins and I shared a few minutes together. He said he honestly doesn't know what to expect. This is the first meeting between these two teams this year. So there'll be some feeling out at the beginning. But he told me sometimes that's when we're at our best. And we're relying on our instincts and awareness at the offensive end. Kevin, we'll see if that holds true. All right, David, thank you. Sounds like to execute the plan, Greg, they're going to have to get that good shot selection. No doubt about it, Kevin. If you want to shoot a high percentage in this league, you have to be patient, and you have to understand what quality of shots you get. Yeah, and that underscores the importance of ball movement. I mean, unselfish play typically generates the best shots. Here's Anthony. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Are you kidding me with that pass? Okay, Kyrie, that one made my day. Brooks with it. KD's on him. Hard work on the boards. A lot of competition for that one, but he's got the limp to be the first one, too. Anthony finds Irving. Anderson with the block. And, and blocks like this fire Anderson up, which in turn get his teammates going as well. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. And the basket is good. Oh, the movement off the ball is good. I mean, and the pass to hit him in stride is even better. Irving against Morant. Now, here's Thompson, guarded closely. A shot by Anthony, nobody around. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. And the story here, Kevin, early on, is how well they've shot the basketball. Morant, the bounce pass. Valanciunas passes to Brooks. Great D that time from Durant. USA leading by seven. Here's Anthony. 
Here's Cousins. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. Poor job defensively on the glass. I mean, Cousins is the first guy you have to get a body on. He has good anticipation and those long, long arms. Now here's Morant. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. To the middle. Here's Valanciunas. And it's good assisting on the play was Brooks. Oh, it's tough trying to alter his focus. I mean, Valanciunas is great at staying in control. Time out, time out. So timeout called here. The first for USA. And it's a completely new group for USA. Lowry passes to George. That's a two from Butler. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. against Morant uses the glass to finish the layup much more than just the perimeter threat Morant loves to sneak inside and do damage here's George from down in the low post it goes and boy have they come out strong really pounding the offensive board for second chance points outside Jackson Clark trying to get open. Jackson misses. And so Green will bring it up for USA. They have a nine-point lead. Count the basket. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. They've come out of the gate strong at both ends of the floor. Just, just in total control so far. Now here's Morant. One oh two left to play in the first. No good. That's miss number two. He's one for three. Here's Green. It's rebounded by Memphis. On the wing, Winslow. Now Morant. 35 seconds left in the first quarter. Jordan with the rebound. USA leading by 11, and here they come. That's good for George on the assist by Lowry. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Here's Morant. Clock at four. And finished off by Morant. Man, he's got some hops. Morant loves to attack the rim when he gets the chance. Any chance. And it's USA holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. We'll get right back to the action when we return. 